I want to start off this YouTube video, The Venomized Rhino, by showing appreciation to the Armadillo Bath. I truly don't believe that this mold got enough appreciation. Hasbro and the Marvel Legends team don't give us very often brand new molds. And when they do, I have to show appreciation, I have to show respect, because at the end of the day, if you look at the way that this is designed, with all the sculpt detail, look at the wrinkles in the skin, that's what's lacking from Hasbro Marvel Legends. The uniqueness of the sculpts and the dedication to the characters, showing that every character deserves its own mold. It's definitely one of the better Marvel Legends baths, that's for sure. The uniqueness of it, I just appreciate it a lot. Reuse is killing these lines. To get started, I boiled up all the joints and popped them so that I could get in there and utilize the Dremel to sand all the joints back to eliminate any kind of paint rub. In this video, I'm going to sand absolutely everything down and show you step by step how I created this custom. So buckle in, it's a bit of a long one, and enjoy. This part was a little bit tricky because I didn't want to send the overlay there, the orange, because it had this unique sculpt to it. So I only sanded this part of the mold down And the same again here. I didn't want to touch any of that unique sculpt, so I just sanded what I could. I went in with a less harsh Dremel bit this time to get a nice smooth finish. So prepping this guy took me about two and a half hours to really get in there and crack the torso and sand absolutely everything. You can see the sheer amount of plastic that I've had to take off just to get it to be prepped for paint rub. So now I've painted all the joints, I've sealed all the joints, I'm popping them into boiling hot water so that I can reassemble them. This water is boiling hot. You can use a kettle, or you can use the microwave, either all works. I like to let them sit for two minutes, and then pop them, and as you can see, there's no paint rub. I like to test all my joints straight away for paint rub, just in case, just to be safe. You know, this is going to a customer, this is a commission, so gotta be extra careful. When popping in the joints, you'll notice I'll do like an extra pop. That's because it clicks into place and that's how you know it's firmly inside.
When popping in the feet, you may notice that it's got lots of gapping, and it needs that gapping just so that it can articulate. Without it, you will have some sort of issue. When taking on a venomized rhino, rhino doesn't have big claw feet, so I wanted to change those into stubby toes, very similar to a rhino, as I had full creative freedom to do whatever I wanted with this design. The armadillo bath has very hard plastic, so make sure you heat these up before you try to cut them. Taken a rhino head from the old 2016 bath and cut in the neck because the neck I feel is quite outdated and what I'll be doing is inverting the neck and changing the peg inside to fit correctly. As you can imagine, this knife is incredibly sharp, so I'm just taking my time and working with the plastic and just being incredibly careful not to cut myself. It didn't matter if it was not exactly perfect, because at the end of the day I had to go in and dremel all that out and smooth it all over and make it look like an official joint to the neck peg. So with the leftover I inverted it, sanded it all down. And now we're going to use this as the official neck peg. I wanted to keep the face. Maybe it could be used for something later on. And I'll re-sculpt the entire face from scratch using green stuff. Unfortunately, the armadillo bath, the neck peg, is atrocious. It basically doesn't function. It reminds me of those old 1994 figures where it's just a peg sitting on top and it rotates side to side and that's literally about as much movement as you get out of it. So that had to go. So I've fitted the peg for the head sculpt to go on top of it, and I've inverted the neck, and now I'm just gluing it into place. This is all the sculpt involved with this custom. You can see from these work in progress photos. And this is the finished product. A concept, full creative freedom, Rhino. Incredibly happy that the customer gave me full creative reign. You know that that's amazing in its own right. You know, having full faith in someone's ability to just do a cool custom. Even though it is basically just a straight armadillo bath, you can definitely see that 
its Rhino influence with all the armor plating. The chest took inspiration from Corrupted Venom. All these little dots all over the chest, again that's just something I like to do here and there. You'll notice the white has little scratch marks that look like chips in armor plating. So it had all these key features and paint applications taken from all these different Venomized designs. Here's the Venomized Rhino in a bit of a size comparison next to the other Venom molds. I hope you enjoyed the video. Special thanks to all the Patreons, you guys are absolutely amazing. As always, thank you so much for supporting my work. And if you'd like to be a Patreon member, feel free. There's a link in the description below, and I'm going to have to catch you on the next one.